Yogi Clan, welcome back to Yogi Cycle Service. I got something a little different for you today. So as you may or may not know, if you've been watching my videos, I do a lot of my stuff from my truck. I do it from here in the garage, I do it from the truck, or out and about wherever we're at. But I do do a lot of, I said do do. But I do a lot of things out of my truck. With that, a company reached out to me and said, hey, we noticed you do a lot of stuff on your truck. How would you like a cup mounted cell phone holder? To which I said, well, I've actually been in the market for a cell phone holder because the current cell phone holder I have has a magnet on it. And I'll show you how great that works. So every time I put that phone up on the dash, if there's cold air coming out of it with the cell phone, the magnet just doesn't work and the phone just keeps falling off and it keeps pissing me off. So I spending $15 buying a different phone holder, one that mounts into the vent that clips onto the vent that'll hold your phone and it just didn't work it was flimsy it was cheap it came off of amazon it was 15 bucks it didn't work now there's another kind that i was looking at that was 25 dollars that mounts to your dash but i want to stick something to my dash i don't like putting stickers on my truck i like putting stickers on cabinets but not on trucks so what do you do let's dig into it if you're new to this channel, I thank you for stopping by, checking out. This isn't my usual content. It's Yogi Cycle Service, and I'm Yogi. Usually it's everything motorcycle related, but today we got something a little different because this is something that I have actually have interest in. If you are a returning subscriber, you don't want to watch this, go ahead, fast forward. <laughs> but maybe you'll get something out of it too, because this looks like it potentially could be a cool product. So I thank you for watching. Go ahead and check out some of my other videos. If you like what you see, give me a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button. Don't forget, we got merch down in the comments. Check it out. But, I, I, you know, this company said, hey, we'll send you this for free if you do a review on it. Generally, I try not to do that type of thing, but since I was in the market for a cell phone holder, I said, sure, why not? I'll do a review on it. So what I'm going to do is we're going to unbox it, see what's part of this. And then we're, I'm going to give it a test for a week and then give you my thoughts at the end of the week on whether it's good or whether it's junk. So let's dig on into that. All right, here it is. Let's go ahead and dig on in and see what's, how this is put together. Instructions are on the back of the box. Got a base, it says twist this. Wonder why. Oh, I see, look at that. See these things right here? You open them, they go down. They go down and down. Okay, so you put it in your cup holder, and you twist it, and these little pieces come out to lock it in place, like that. Okay, I get it, all right, okay. Here these directions, come on now. All right, so this. Put it in there, down. Oh, there it goes, snaps in, okay. So I'm gonna assume that's gonna go like that. So your cell phone can go in there. What does this button do? Oh, look at that. Now it almost holds the tablet. And this arm's pretty stiff. And then you can put your phone in there and slide it to the locks, press the buttons, slide it down. Slide, that That will just about, oh, look at that. It goes even further. That'll hold a tablet. What does this box say? It doesn't say. I'll put the uh, link to the ad. This thing was like $17. Now it doesn't necessarily look like the highest quality plastic, but it looks like it'll last. It looks fairly decent. You know, I think I kind of like it this way. You can put the base of the phone here and then this top will adjust down into it. But you can go to there. So let's get a tape measure. So I have an iPhone 10R, which is six inches. If you look at this here, six inches only goes to there. So really, it would be like that for me to have your phone vertical. Now, if you want it horizontal, so if that's three and a quarter, two, yeah, so your, your phone can't go horizontal in this. It does have to be vertical. And then you can press these buttons and expand it and then pull that out. So fully expanded, let's measure that. Two, so six and three quarters. Take okay, measure it now. We'll start off on one. Well, we'll keep it at two. 
So it goes to eight and a half inches fully extended. That'll just about fit a tablet. Probably fit a tablet sideways for sure. I don't know about vertically, but it'll probably fit it sideways. Welcome to the Dirty Yogi Truck. All right, three cup holders I have. This one, Beard Balm. This one holds my coffee. So we're gonna put this, ooh, that's kind of small. Kind of small. Let's do the lock thing, see what that does. Yeah, not bad, okay. And take this phone. And put it in there like that. So there it is while you're driving with a cup holder. Now, if you got cup holders that are over here, it'd probably be even better. This one here, not bad. So I use Marco Polo a whole lot. Let's see what that'll look like. Who's somebody we can Marco Polo? Yo, so you're being recorded right now. I got this new cell phone holder that I'm doing a review on and I'm trying to see if I like it or not. You're, you're being tested. You're a test run on my video. See the, see the camera? So we're gonna try it this week and see what we think of it. All right, dude, laters. All right, so I, I like it. I kinda like it, it's not bad. I still have plenty of room for my coffee right here that it won't get in the way. And I can still access my lid. If I'm riding down the road and I need GPS, that's the one problem, is GPS. As I'm driving, yeah, I gotta look down like that to drive. Versus, I used to have my phone mounted right there. So I was able to drive and have my directions right here. So looking is pretty, pretty simple. Versus here, it's probably not gonna be quite as good. Let's give it a test for a week. And if it's worth a darn, we'll figure out. Is it good? Is it bad? Or what do we think? All right, so it's been five days now with this new cell phone loader. And honestly, my review of it is it's really not that bad. It, it's kind of, I wish my cup holder were up here closer to my dash versus right here. The, the one drawback I'll say is when I'm looking out the windshield to drive and then have to look down here to the cell phone for directions that back up here to drive, it's a little bit, it's a little bit much. I, I truly wish it were out and, and more up here away from me or more up to where like where my magnet was that you've seen in the video that used to hold it but honestly you know for directions or whatever if you need to move it around having it right here is kind of nice it is kind of nice it is sturdy it it see you know it, it doesn't it vibrates a little bit there is some vibration to it when you're driving down the road but overall it's not bad for 17 bucks I man i was looking and i was in the market for a cell phone holder for the car when this company reached out to me i thought but yeah i, I was kind of debating contemplating a cup holder so this works out perfect for me there you go so i would give it probably four and a half out of five stars i like it it's fairly well made i think it'll last a little bit holds this cell phone without a problem i don't have my tablet with me or i'd show you that it will hold uh, my tablet sideways not that I'd really want to drive down the road with my tablet, but it can if that's something you want to do. So yeah, four and a half out of five stars. Pretty good product. I'm pretty happy with it. All right, Yogi Clan, enjoy your week, and I'll catch you soon. Peace.